Good evening. Thank you for joining me today as we continue our topic on the book of Revelation. Today I'd like to finish up Revelation 10, 5 through 11. Then the mighty angel standing on the sea and land lifted his right hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and everything in it and the earth and all that it contains and the sea and its inhabitants that there should be no more delay but that when the seventh angel blew his trumpet then God's veiled plan mysterious through the ages over since it was announced by his servants the prophets would be fulfilled then the voice from heaven spoke to me again. Go and get the unrolled scroll from the mighty angel standing there upon the sea and the land. So I approached him and asked him to give me the scroll. Yes, take it and eat it, he said. At first it will taste like honey, but when you swallow it, it will make your stomach sour. So I took it from his hand and ate it, and just as he had said, it was sweet in my mouth, but he gave me a stomach ache when I swallowed it. Then he told me, you must prophesy further about many peoples, nations, tribes, and kings. I want to thank you for joining me today as we finish the book of Revelation in number 10. The next one will be Book of Revelation 11. And as we continue, I just want to remind each of you and every one of you, God is not fire and brimstone. He is not hate. He is not anger. He is love. He is healing. He is joy. He is compassion. His light shines through His Son, the Most Brightest, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the bridge to the Father, who brought us through His death and His love back to the Father, so that we may once again be in relationship with the Father through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So please don't be dismayed about the book of Revelation. As Jesus instructed to John these things must come to pass it is God's plan it is also God's plan to love the world as he has and he still does it is also God's plan for us to be happy because he created us mainly to serve him and to fulfill our purpose in his will yet we all have our own will with the Father and God has a plan for each of us to take part in. That's why we were created. He loves each and every one of us and he expects us as Jesus expects us to do the same. So please spread the love, spread the light. There is violence and evil in the world, yes, but it is not as bad as people portray it to be. As I see on many videos that are posted on the timeline of Tony Romaco Ministries, I see the love in the world. I see many people helping out God's creatures. I see many people helping out law enforcement. I see many law enforcement helping out people in need. There is still love there. Those videos and stories must be shared more widely. Love must be shared more widely. Please continue to walk in the presence of God. You'll be glad you did. Join me again next time as we continue in the book of Revelation. Thank you, and have a blessed evening. And join us again for our next video on our mini-update of Tony Romaco Ministries. Have a blessed evening.